the, this course, I am overly excited every day to get the opportunity to go out and play it. So if you definitely are in the area and you haven't gone out, out and played, they apparently have two also really incredible courses. Yeah. We played like two, one or two holes Steady on. Steady Ed and but, uh, um, Steady Ed and Warner. Are those the other two? Steady Ed's one of the two. Steady Ed is definitely one of them. I don't yeah. know what the other one. Steady called. Ed's the more fun. The other one is uh, um is uh easier easier course, but they're yeah. they're good times. But the course is incredible. Uh, there's a couple holes. I think there's two holes that I need to try to get a little more dialed on the tee shot tomorrow. Um, other than that, everything. Everything is pretty straightforward. Like, I just have to execute shots. I know this is a course, too, that you're not going to – you're not going to throw 18 great tee shots. Yeah. It's impossible. Literally impossible. And I've played tons of practice rounds with Ezra, uh, Jonathan Nicholson. I've played with Tristan Tanner, a bunch of re- practice rounds. And then we just did that doubles battle between Adam and Ben. And then, spoiler, have a video with Calvin coming out tomorrow. Nice. So I've played, I played with a good range of people, and you're going to hit trees, and you're going to end up in weird spots. It's, going, it's more about can you salvage and can you just try to get par yeah. on those holes that you hit trees and, and get off the fairway. So, like, today was, today was a good round of – I was two over through five, which is not a great start by any means. And I battled back to finish six under. So nice. Nice. I, I, I finished the front nine with two birdies and then shot six under on the back. So it's a course where it could be the exact opposite. You can, you can start eight under and then just kind of try to, you know, stop the bleeding if you make a couple of mistakes down the, down the way. So you, you can go out and shoot eight under. You can go out and shoot 10 under, 12. Can someone shoot 12 this week? I think so, but that would be an impressive score. I don't know if anyone shoots better than 12 out there, but you could you could literally the next day, your timing's little, things aren't going well. It's not hard to shoot even par out there. So it, it's a challenging course. There are a lot of backhand turnovers. So I think if you're watching live, I think you'll see kind of, the backhand dominant players go to that playing with Adam who has an incredible forehand. He definitely threw a couple forehands on some of the holes that I thought were backhand turnovers. So I, I think it's going to definitely favor people that have that shot in their bag. It's going to be really interesting to see how lefties do out here. Just cause I don't know. Some of the shot shapes, it just doesn't seem like a lefty hyzer backhand is what you want. Unless you have like a nasty like hyzer flip up yeah. pushing shot, which I feel like is not as comfortable for most people as like a turnover backhand. Mm-hmm. So so we'll see. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I got one more practice round tomorrow. Get that in. I'll probably after we get off here, I'll probably do a little more pa- practice putting, get the putt feeling good. And, uh, yeah, we'll see four rounds, a lot of rounds. So like anything can really happen. Yeah. A lot of rounds in that course that courses like this are the most golf style courses, if that makes sense, where it's, it's a more of a mental challenge whenever I think about it than your typical course. Cause like you were saying, you're not going to get through a round unscathed or you might get through one, but you're not getting through a tournament unscathed. Like something's going to go wrong out there. There's going to be a bad shot, a bad upshot, uh, or bad drive, whatever it may be. And you're gonna have to like mentally re readjust and refocus, get up and down, and move on. Uh, and there's some courses on tour which just aren't aren't like that. It's like if you if you're off the fairway, you're losing strokes to the field. Whereas this course, if you get off the fairway, I mean, everyone's gonna be off the fairway at some point. I so. I feel like this conversation with like courses is going to be nullified in the future because courses are going to continue to develop and eventually you're just going to have a bunch of really good courses on yeah, tour. Yeah, no, absolutely. And obviously, obviously you'll talk about some holes, right? Like I think the cor- the holes out here that I would say like if you're if you're going to see like the biggest moving holes like hole 17, um, hole 18 is eagleable with a good drive. Yeah. Um, hole 5 is another big one like circle hole 5. That's that's going to be 
You're going to see twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes on that hole. So there are some holes that we can talk about, but I do think a lot of times we, we have that discussion of like, if this course is, is good or not. Yeah. And I think eventually we're not going to have that discussion because we still have courses that we play where a lot of the par fours are so drive dependent, where it's like, if you throw a good drive, you're going to birdie the whole 90% of the time where this course, there are maybe a couple holes, a couple par fours and um, maybe Probably all three par fives are like that, where if you throw a good drive, you should birdie it. But for the majority of the the par fours, it requires two really good shots to mm-hmm. birdie. Yeah. So I, I love that. I love the fact of where you're challenging. You're, you, 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 no one can really just throw like, you know, it's a 650 yard, uh, foot par four. No one's really able to throw a 600 foot shot and have a jump putt and then tap in birdie. Yeah. Like it's requ- a, a good shot is, landing at 400 feet and then you have a very technical having to hit gap having to you know s shape your shot through some trees from 250 feet to get into circle so i like it a lot some of these greens are pretty tricky out here too i think people that have never seen the course before are going to love it it might be a little difficult sometimes to to gauge exactly how difficult some of the gaps we are hitting out here with the camera angles but we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the live coverage looks good. Just saw the drone operator out there today. He was getting the drone shots done. And uh, yeah, I think they're getting ready for the event. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be fun. I think, too, you're going to see with the, how the course shapes up with 16, 17, and 18, those last three holes, goes par three, par four, par five. I, I see like it, it coming down to those last three holes. And I, I feel like there's going to be two or three people in it. Yeah. And whole, so I, think, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be a runaway. Yeah, I agree. It, it's hard. To, it's hard to across four rounds at a course like that, have someone run away, which I think is what makes it such a good major course. And hole 18 is such a good finishing hole because I, uh, you, y'all might've seen uh, on Gannon Bird's Instagram, he posted where he eagled it, but to eagle it, you have to have a great drive that gets to the top of the hill to even have an angle for the second shot. And then the second shot is still not easy to do to get the Eagle. But if your drives out of position, a five is very much in play. A six is a possibility. So like, even if, if someone goes into the final hole and they're down two strokes, it's far from over because if the leader doesn't get off the tee well, and the guy in second does, you know, you could be looking right at a playoff there. Uh, and, and it's several spots like that on the course where if you just lose focus for a second with the lead, two strokes can be gone in a hole easily. I think that's the sign of a, of a good course a lot of times is it requires a, an amount of focus in to where if you're down two with three to play, it's like you don't have a lead at all versus some courses you're down two to three with three to play and it's over. You can just go ahead and hand the trophy off to the guy.